What is going on, Bed Nation? Uh, got an exciting moment here. You guys might be seeing it right now. Uh, we're going to see it play out. If you like this content, make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button, bell to be notified. You know the drill over here, but we're going to get to this quickly because I think something's about to pop off and you see it right here. Uh, ben Armstrong just posted a little while ago, just spotted a hidden gem in the crypto universe. This project has got all the hallmarks of a game changer, folks. It's got a solid team with a laser focus on innovation backed by a vibrant community. Don't sleep on this one because it's about to explode. Do your own research, but mark my words, this could be the next big thing in crypto. Now, uh, take that for what it will. It, it is part of uh, writing short story. It's, it's probably Grok here that's doing it. Uh, and I think that Ben was probably playing around with it, but I would imagine that we would move this over into something like Ben at any moment. Uh, along with that, we had a nice little bump in price action. Uh, not tremendous because, you know, we still have the, uh, we still have these weak hands that are going to exit as they go. Uh, but you see here a couple of big buys. Uh, so, you know, it looks like uh, we've had some positive price action, uh, a nice little move up here. Let's look at the broader market here. You can see we continue to move. Um, the rejection happened exactly where I told you that rejection was going to happen. The question is, will it continue to move to the upside? Now, we're going to remove that for right now and think of it this way. We've got this 200 MA coming back down here, which means that even though this next spot right here is representative of where I said we would end up, it's actually going to end up coming down here around 57 over here. So in the next couple hours, you could be seeing a move up to 57 uh, to kind of take you into that range. Now, the broader market, and, and as a matter of fact, if you look over here on the right, you can see that Ben is the only thing in the green really today other than the broader market, um, the traditional uh, finance markets. So uh, Bitcoin dumping a little bit, Ethereum dumping a little bit more. And uh, so that's where we are. And it looks like there's the potential, the possibility that uh, we get a, just a little headwind, a little move on, on the upside, just a couple more uh, decent investors, a little more volume, uh, maybe a, a, a marketing agreement announcement or two. Then the next thing you know, uh, Ben is starting to fly. Um, MACD showing positive flow for the last little while uh, with a with a bullish crossover, and that bullish crossover has been maintained and expanded upon. So it, it looks like, or it feels like, that there's some positive momentum behind Ben at this particular moment. Now, if the markets continue to work in the positive and we continue to get the uh get this going on then you know we could be looking at uh at maybe not a breakout i don't know if it's ready for a breakout yet but we could see some positive price action some positive movement and that would be a great thing uh overall so uh that that's what it looks like and uh uh that's it for right now so uh it, it's I, I think that we've got something good happening but the broader hours are going to be the testament to it of course we need to we need to start minting some green candles in those broader time frames and if we do that then anything's possible uh remember it wasn't that long ago we were sitting at a, you know 20 30 million dollar market cap and it's sitting at five million right now so uh this could 6x at any moment just to get back to uh previous average ranges so let me know what you think in the comments down below it's not financial advice but i believe i'm always right thank you so much for tuning in and we'll talk to you